Um, you may be wondering why I'm here today. Uh, I'm here on behalf of Common Cause Rhode Island because this is more than just an environmental issue. It's also about how public policy is being made in the state of Rhode Island. And Common Cause cares deeply that public policies are made in the public interest, not in private interests, not for private interests. What we're seeing today is a classic case of what economists call rent seeking. This is legislation introduced at the behest of a single developer who will profit by adding biomass to the list of sources available for net metering. A program established to promote green technologies. Yet those who know best, the, the other speakers, are united, uh, the, those who know best uh, about this technology are united in their opposition to it because it would pollute rather than help our environment. Our legislature is being asked to weigh the public interests against economic interests of a single developer. And it's not the first time we've seen this same developer come hat in hand to our legislature looking to do their bidding. In 2016, the same developer tried to subvert the legislative process through a midnight amendment to the state budget that received zero vetting. Only after being publicly exposed was that amendment pulled out of the budget. This time, the rent seeking is not happening under the cover of darkness, but nonetheless, it puts into stark relief the nexus of money and politics in our state. The skids for this change are being greased with political donations to the most powerful. So in recent years, we've seen $60,000 flow from the employees of the developer into the campaign coffers of the political action committee uh, and the uh, political accounts of the most powerful politicians in Rhode Island. That doesn't count the money coming from the relatives. Our campaign finance is stacked in favor of those who will personally profit from this, uh, from the actions of the legislature versus the public that must live with the consequences. So we need the public to know that legislators face a choice in this situation, the public interest or the private interest of their donors. Thank you very much. <laughs>